Before you begin your CFD analysis using ANSYS Fluent, careful consideration of some issues will contribute significantly to the success of your modeling effort. Once you have determined the important features of the problem you want to solve, you should follow the basic steps. Defining the modeling goals. What results are you looking for and how will they be used? What are your modeling options? What physical models will need to be included in your analysis? What simplifying assumptions do you have to make? What simplifying assumptions can you make? Do you require a unique modeling capability? Could you use user-defined function written in C? What degree of accuracy is required? How quickly do you need the results? How will you isolate a piece of the complete physical system? Where will the computational domain begin and end? Do you have boundary condition information at these boundaries? Can the boundary condition types accommodate that information? Can you extend the domain to a point where reasonable data exists? And can it be simplified or approximated as a two-dimensional or axisymmetric problem? Create the model geometry and mesh. This step of the solution process requires a geometry modeler and mesh generator. You can use design modeler and ANSYS meshing within ANSYS workbench or you can use a separate CAD system for geometry modeling and mesh generation. When meshing three-dimensional geometries, you can also use the meshing mode of Fluent. Alternatively, you can use supported CAD packages to generate volume meshes for import to ANSYS Fluent. ANSYS Fluent uses unstructured meshes in order to reduce the amount of time you spend generating meshes to simplifying the geometry modeling and mesh generation process to enable modeling of more complex geometries than you can handle with conventional multi-block structured meshes and to enable you to adapt the mesh to resolve the flow field features. ANSYS Fluent can also use body fitted block structured meshes. ANSYS Fluent is capable of handling triangular and quadrilateral elements in two-dimensional and tetrahedral, hexahedral, pyramid, wedge and polyhedral elements in three-dimensional. The flexibility enables you to pick meshes topologies that are best suited for your applications. The following questions should be considered when you are generating a mesh. Can you benefit from other ANSYS products such as CFX or ANSYS IcePack? Can you use a quad hex mesh or should you use a three tet mesh or a hybrid mesh? How complex is the geometry and flow? Will you need a non-conformal interface? What degree of mesh resolution is required in each region of the domain? Is the resolution sufficient for the geometry? Can you predict regions with high gradients? Will you use adaptation to add resolution? Do you have sufficient computer memory? How many cells are required and how many models will be used? Set up the solver and physical models. For a given problem, you will need to import and check the mesh select the numerical solver, for example, density-based, pressure-based, unsteady, and so on. Then select appropriate physical models, turbulence, combustion, multiphase, and so on. Then define material properties, fluid, solid, mixture, and so on. Prescribing operating condition, uh, prescribe boundary conditions at all boundary zones, provide an initial solution, set up solver controls, set up convergence monitors, and finally initialize the flow field. Compute and monitor the solution. The discretized conservation equations are solved 
iteratively. A number of iterations are usually required to reach a converged solution. Convergence is reached when changes in solution variables from one iteration to the next are negligible. Residual provide a mechanism to help monitor this trend. Overall property conservation is achieved. The accuracy of a converged solution is dependent upon appropriateness and accuracy of physical models, mesh resolution and independence, and also problem setup. Examine and save the results. Examine the results to review the solution and extract useful data. Visualization tools can be used to answer such questions as what is the overall flow pattern? Is there separation? Where do shocks, shear layers, and so on form? Are key flow features being resolved? Numerical reporting tools can be used to calculate the following quantitative results, forces and moments average heat transfer coefficients, surface and volume integrated quantities, and flux balances. And finally, consider revisions to the numerical or physical model parameters if necessary. Once your solution is converged, the following questions should be considered when you are analyzing the solution. Are physical models appropriate? Is flow turbulent? Is flow unsteady? Are there compressibility effects? Are there any three-dimensional effects? Are boundary conditions correct? Is the computational domain large enough? Are boundary conditions appropriate? Are boundary values reasonable? Is the mesh adequate? Can the mesh be adapted to improve results? Does the solution change significantly with adaptation or is the solution mesh independent? And does boundary resolution need to be improved? Master CFT experts are ready to answer all of your questions. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at